coming in with a queen charge zap mass valkyrie attack hey it's what on guys welcome back to clash with air guys we are live with the queen walkers taking on dc ranger as we continue to work our way through the start of the party cup the clash party cup here a relatively new tournament that is uh joining the community of incredible tournaments and so many of the top teams are played in this one here and it's exciting to see the queen walkers get into action here today but we'll see if Stadra can start us off here with the attack that he loves so much here, his traditional P.E.K.K.A. smash. And I'd be setting up to go in through the Eagle Artillery with a Log Launcher. Now, whenever we do these P.E.K.K.A. smashes, they can make me a little bit nervous because they are dependent on pathing across the base to still get to the Town Hall. And things like the Queen could draw that pathing off and pull P.E.K.K.A.s to attack a wall and break into a side compartment. So he has to be very, very conscious of that. He needs to make sure that he handles that Queen properly. Looks like he's going to do a two separate wall break entry into the Eagle Artillery compartment. Ensure that he can uh, not just go into half of the compartment, but clap into the whole thing simultaneously and move through it like a wave. But he has set in the Log Launcher. That put the... Golem a little bit further to the right deployed, but his uh, king, ooh, his king is going inside of the base instead of the same to the outside. I don't think that was intended, so we'll have to see how we adjust to that. But he is going to be able to get the log launcher to open up a couple of the walls deeper into the base. There, it's hitting the intersection by the looks of it that will give him access to the top multi inferno, even if it doesn't actually open up enough walls to get the troops to go into the. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! All the P.E.K.K.A.s and the King with the Golem have gone north into that top compartment and that's what I was worried about. It wasn't the Queen that drew him up there. It was just the P.E.K.K.A.s and the King attacking the wall up there that ended up drawing him that direction. So that's a little bit of an issue here. But the Queen's still hanging on there. She's got the Siegebergs troops that dumped out in front of her that were able to at least give her some protection for a little bit. The healers that followed the P.E.K.K.A.s ended up dying out but the Raw Champion will sweep in and take out that multi-inferno and continue to push the queen towards the town hall. Town hall's gonna start beating on the troops on the outside here. I'll put a, a super wall breaker to get the witches to go inside the base a little bit, but the queen is getting distracted by some air skill. He's gonna have to start freezing the town hall. He's gonna have to use all of his additional resources here to take the town hall. It's the only threat left of the base here. Pops the RC ability. The queen and the RC go to, build, to invisible together there if he wanted to, but he just holds it and the Queen, with her ability, takes the Town Hall down. He loses the Royal Champion in the process, but now he's just fighting the clock. The Queen's stuck in the Town Hall Poison. The Witch is dumping out their skeletons into the last couple buildings here. Only a couple seconds to spare, and... Gets it with two seconds to spare. Stadra! Opening up with the triple for the Queen Walkers. Monkey King! Live against stars. In charge. Hogminer Hybrid. Looks like he is getting ready to enter in through the Town Hall compartment. Now, look at CC range. Look at single Inferno range. He should be able to pull the CC before he steps into CC range there. He does not want the Town Hall activated while he fights the CC, but he may not have an, a choice here. He will poison as a Triple Ice Golem comes out. Yeti and Balloons over on the left flank there will form the funnel here for the Queen. But the Queen does take out the Town Hall before switching over to the CC, which is really, really good. And that's going to make so that this Queen can fight the CC and have the Town Hall down all separate from each other. Don't want to be frozen up three times there while you're fighting the Town Hall, obviously. But uh, the single Inferno is the next obstacle for him to work his way through. He's got the freezes. He can lock it down a few times here. And he has his ability. But he wants to also use his ability through the enemy queen. He decides to freeze through the queen. Misses the queen with the freeze. But it's okay. He powers through her anyways. Gets the single Inferno down. And here we go with the next phase of attack here. The King and the Siegebergs working on the outside along the top edge of the base. Will keep the Hogs and Miners central as they continue to push their way through. Did the Queen's healers just take an Eagle Strike there? I'm not sure... What just damaged up the heal is there, but they are relatively low HP now. See if they can 
continue to survive here as the hybrid continues to force through the middle of the base here. You got a couple of the miners splitting off to the middle, but not a significant amount. They're not enough to take the core. We will need the Royal Champion to go over there and finish it off, but she might get distracted by the enemy king, and she takes a round of Eagle Artillery strikes there. Needs to get this Eagle Artillery down. The Royal Champion about to take another round of shells here from this Eagle Artillery through the Bomb Tower. We go. No heal coming off of the Bomb Tower, but he does put down an invisibility. He has enough here to finish off. The Queen breaks through the wall over on the left side. And we'll continue to work to the backside defense as ending under the Eagle Artillery is a lot of sustained damage all the way through the attack here, but he seems to have it under control. He will get that Eagle Artillery down. Blooms come in on the backside and will take out the backside Archer Tower while everybody else collapses through her. He was able to take the Eagle Strikes all the way through the attack there and still get out of it. And it's absolutely crushed. Stars goes down to Monkey King. Here we go. Gaku is live. We got ourselves a little bit of lightning that took out the queen and an inferno in the right hand top compartment there. Using the blip to sail in, get the CC pull and take out the scatter shot in that compartment. Did not rage up the Yeti blimp here. We'll do a little bit of a Sui hero. And we'll be diving after the town hall, but wants to fight the CC in safety here. With a standard recipe for a Zap Lalo. Zap one compartment. Yeti Blimp to pull the CC, fight the CC in safety, and then dive into one of the more threatening defenses on the base there. Obviously, that would be that Town Hall. The Yeti Blimp there needs to take the Town Hall, or the heroes need to take it. So, one way or another, the Yeti Blimp sets up the other to be able to be successful. But it looks like a big test farm pops, and he sends in the Royal Champion to support the Queen. The Royal Champion will sail past the Town Hall here. And give the Queen access with her ability, but the RC is not going to survive this exchange. We'll pop her ability here and continue to walk on by while the Queen picks off some of the other defenses. And, uh... The champion will run out of steam right there. But he starts in the Lalo on the opposite side while the King continues to work on the outside. The King's going to pick up, uh, an Archer Tower while he takes the Eagle Artillery Strikes there off of the Lalo. And actually, this, uh, I sound might pop and, uh, freeze up the Eagle Artillery and take away a round of strikes there, but this Queen almost able to get this enemy Royal Champion down in the middle of the base there, but he continues to charge his way through. There's the Rage. He's not used his ward ability, but he will combine the Rage with the ward ability and the Headhunters because he is going to have to power through the King before he can switch over to the Royal Champion. So the Rage is critical there to make sure the Headhunters have enough damage output to be able to get through the King and still be around to go take out the Royal Champion afterwards. And with that Royal Champion already weakened up, they easily take her down. Sweep into the last couple defenses, and it's a triple here. And he even gets out of it with the Swag King ability. Easy day. So much time left on the board here. And he'll chip away at the last couple storages and bring it home for the Queen Walkers. They're two for two. They'll take a round of red bombs here as they cross to the base here. But nothing's going to slow this down to this point here. We'll see if DC Ranger can match that second triple with another triple of their own. Lowlands, Lalo, here we go. Got ourselves a... A queen charge into... No, no, this is not a queen charge. It is a sneaky bat rider attack here. Using the sneak goblins to go out to the town hall. Finds the tornado trap over on the right side inside of that single space compartment. And we'll trigger the traps around the town hall and then send in the bulk of the sneaky goblins doesn't find all the traps are with the initial one so luckily send in an extra tester there there we go with the rest put the invisibility down and we'll easily drop that town hall and here we go need to get the kill squad sends in a balloon and a minion onto each of the mortars there to take them out up top that's going to open up the base to let the king queen Warden and Log Launcher into the base there with a couple of Ice Golems to lead the way. The uh, Grass Skelly's there, gonna stall them off for just a moment, but the Electric Owl should be able to power through those very quickly. The Electric Owl somehow is the target of the Eagle Artillery here. I bet everybody's gonna move inside the middle range, it's gonna potentially miss anyways. <laughs> it only got one... No, nope, it's taking random strikes in there. But I don't think it was actually hitting anything. If it was, it wasn't anything significant. But he does power through that. The Log Launcher opened up access deep in the base there to hit that single Inferno. Doesn't actually take it down. Needs one more strike on the single Inferno in the middle of the base here. The Royal Champion starts with the Dragon Riders over from the left side. While the Queen continues to tank this uh, 
Grand Expo, keeping the damage off of the Road Champion, gets the freeze to get this enemy Queen down. Even raging up the Queen as well. Make sure he got through that. But he's going to get the Sweepers down, which is huge for these Dragon Riders to continue to pick up a lot of value. The King is working up on the right side with the Warden and the Yetis by the Queen is continuing deep in the base there. The Rage that went down made her Unicorn boost her healing significantly there. And she was able to get a scatter shot in the middle base here. This looks absolutely crushed. He starts in the bats onto the Multi Inferno and the Wizard Tower over the right side. And with both of them frozen, the last splash damages left on the base here. The bats have free reign. He already knows that he cleared the Tornado Trap at the start of the attack there. So those aren't going to stop these bats. And the bats will easily sweep through the last of the defenses here, protecting the Dragon Riders and protecting the rest of his cleanup. Easy. Day, and he's got the triple for DC Ranger. They're going to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe here with the Queen Walkers. Nobody has missed so far. we got to keep this ball rolling. Easy day. Nice job. Stars! Live against Monkey King. Got ourselves a... Tui Lalo with a Blizzard. We're going to be trying to nuke out with the Blizzard here. And be going to the scatter shot here. Notice how the hound angle gets in front of the blimp there just perfectly to get this blimp to sail in over his head. Nicely done there. The, the hound did pick up a black mine there, keeping that blimp nice and safe. Also had a balloon to help as well. But we'll nuke out this section of the base. Easily take that out there. Get the CC pull as well. No matter what, when we do a Lalo, we need to first remove a section of the base there, whether we use a Yeti Blimp or a Blizzard or an Electron or a Skelly Donut. It doesn't matter what method you do, you create a hole in the base there, and then you need the heroes to take advantage of the funnel and the CC pull to go in for another section. He did leave out the Multi Inferno in the middle of the base here, which would have been a good zap target. Uh, but that is going to make so he has to pick that up in a different method and we'll see what he chooses to do here but he puts in the baby dragon up in the top corner of the base as the queen continues to work her way into the town hall barely hanging on to her ability there takes her invisible and that's the last invisibility that he didn't use with the blizzard and he will engage the town hall with the queen ability while the king and the world champion collapse in the bottom corner he's going to try to cut them off with the lalo coming in from the right side we'll need the warden to deploy as close as possible to the enemy world champion so that he can protect the headhunter so they can surge in there and take that enemy world champion down he's trying to keep his world champion protected here so she can go pick up the multi inferno in the middle of the base there because she is in charge of taking that down the balloons are going that way as well the traps are going off on them but he collapses in all the defense on the back side he seems to have it completely under control stars is not going to let this one get away from him he's got the poison for the back side that he ended up not needing to fight the CC after the Blizzard was able to take it down. And he's got the triple here all day long. It's absolutely crushed. That Multi Inferno was not a concern when he used the Lalo to cut off the pathing of the Royal Champion. And then some of the Blooms went to the middle of the base there anyways. But that was very, very well executed. And he did get some pretty solid value with that Blizzard. One of the key things there is the CC pull with the blimp always one of the most critical parts of any blimp is to pull the cc if you don't do that you gotta have another plan for the cc and he didn't need one because he nuked it out easy day this job stars phoenix is live he sells a pack of smash let's see if he can do it as well as stadra does he starts in with a ward of walk in from the Pop compartment here. Gonna go after the multi inferno. Haven't seen anything out of the ordinary so far this war. See if that changes when uh, Klaus attacks next. But uh, if Phoenix is able to get it done here, as he easily should be able to take out this multi inferno here. And then Looking at the placement of the heroes throughout the core of the base here, shouldn't be too big of a deal to get access to the heroes here and not draw the Yeti's pathing off. But he will need to go into the Eagle Artillery compartment with the King. That'll be one of the key uh, parts of this attack here. But he starts in the funnel on the opposite side, gets the Multi-Inferno down. A couple of Teslas pop up there, but at the end of the attack here, he can reach over the wall there with the Queen and reach those Teslas inside of that compartment or grab it with the Royal Champion. 
see if the time becomes a factor here but he does the double wall break he uses up all of his wall breakers to go into the multi inferno he can reach the eagle artillery but he's not going to get access into its compartment so watch the enemy queen here she does jump the wall into the scatter shock part which is huge because the pekkas won't have to go over a wall through a wall to the wrong compartment to reach her that was a little bit of a risky play there from phoenix but the queen on defense does cooperate with him and he's still in a really good spot here he needs to get the queen to get that scatter shot up top she locks onto it now he was quickly able to burn through that cc freeze up the single front on the back side of the base there rage as he goes to the town hall the healers need to step into the rage there and they do and he's ripping through the back side of his base here it looks absolutely crushed if he's got the time to finish it off town hall goes down the Road Champion sweeping around here. The Hogs out of the Siege Barracks still has three hero abilities intact. And this looks like it is beyond gone here. And Yuda just got shredded. As Phoenix is not letting up for DC Ranger. They will keep the war tied here. And we will have three triples on both sides. It is anybody's game here. As we go into the fourth attack of the war. And uh, we'll see if Klaus gets fancy and time fails like he does, he tends to do. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't jinx him. Let's find out. Here we go. Klaus is live. What has he got for us today? Queen, Charge, Dragon, Rider. All right. Well, he's not going for the, th the thumbnail attack for the day. <laughs> but... The war is in line here. There's no room to be playing around when you're playing in a tournament and the war is this tight. Klaus is just going to have to get in here and get it done, but he does have something interesting here. He is using a wall wrecker. Why is he using a wall wrecker? Is he going to be... No. Yeah, no. I don't know what he's doing here. Why would he use a wall wrecker? Well, we'll see what we'll see what Klaus can do with this wall wrecker as uh, he starts it in now. It will quickly pass up to Queen, but he still did a wall break into that compartment. Queen's taking the majority of the defenses in that compartment, but the wall wrecker gonna continue to punch its way forward here. The enemy queen locks onto the wall wrecker. Out comes balloons and an ice golem. Did not make it through very many walls there at all with that enemy queen locking onto it, but he does ultimately give access all the way to this core compartment he's gonna need some additional support to go into the scatter shot on his left flank otherwise his queen could be in trouble here we'll make a couple buildings go invisible on his right to make sure the queen goes in because it was questionable whether she was going to go in or not but he'll put the king down a big test farm pops well balloons quickly react to deal with the test farm and make sure that he goes in the base there frees up the rock capoos that came out of the cc at the queen queen goes to ability Ooh, okay okay she's okay she's okay the king will take the eagle artillery strikes there. Continue to collapse into the scatter shot. Some of the healers transfer off of the queen onto the king. Oh no! Oh, Klaus! Oh, come on, Klaus. Hold together here. There's a jump. He's going to carry it. He's going to do a... Klaus! Klaus is doing a king walk! Come on, Klaus! Get the town hall down! <laughs> Get it down, get it down. That's so critical. He has to take the town hall. The word champion picks up the healer as the king goes down. The single inferno is locked on. He doesn't have any freezes. Oh. My. Is this going to one star? The dragon rider that went to the town hall. Oh no! No! What? <laughs> oh my God! Class! What happened? <laughs> oh jeez! Ah, I didn't think I'd ever see this. Now my days are done. <laughs> Class! With the one star. And the Queen Walkers are down by two. All the DC Ranger needs to do on their fourth attack here is two star, and there'll be a star ahead here. But if they triple, they are two stars up going into the final set of attacks here. 
Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Did that really just happen? Wow. <laughs> just said the dragon ride is at the town hall more directly. <laughs> I have no words for that. I have no words for that, but there's no time to wait. DC Ranger coming right back in for the next one. My commentary just totally fell apart on that one. I apologize. I was just as shocked as you were in that one there to see Klaus come so heavily short there after a lot of things went wrong in that attack. But we'll see if the Demolisher is able to get in here with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack and show Klaus how it's done. This one using the Log Launcher, which is typically what we see here with these Dragon Rider attacks. He'll be charging the Queen into the Tessa farm and the Scattershy here. The rage comes down. He's got four of them to work with here. So plenty of spell support to keep this queen alive and moving. Puts in the king on the compartment down the line. The king with an ice golem will be able to work his way in. As the king clears out the trash on the outside, the ice golem will step forward and take the brunt of the force in front of him. The warden and the royal champion come down with the king. With a headhunter as well to get him through the enemy king. They can all work together there. Wizard on the outside of the base. Did to turn the trash. Overall, really, really solid push into the base here. The queen... Staying alive there, barely hanging on to her abilities. The log launcher eventually will open up the base here. The queen is uh, going to the left a little bit there. Or right, I mean. And uh, she should turn back and follow the log launcher path to the town hall, though. Very pretty hollow core on this base here. Going to make it easier for her to move that direction. But she might actually turn back. Ooh, this could be... Guys... He's lagging right now, or I'm lagging, or somebody's lagging. But if the queen goes off to the right and goes to the collector, she... Okay, she's going back. <laughs> I got worried there for a second that the queen wasn't going to go where he needed her to go. And he was going to ultimately get a one star with that. But that's okay. It's okay. He's got her back under control here. The log collector has softened up the single inferno. And she's powered through her healers are getting targeted a little bit there, but she has she has invisibility there to keep her protected from the multi-inferno heal. Freeze up the town hall. We've got a minute left. He's got a lot of dragon riders. The king is still alive and pushing, but he just needs to get this multi-inferno down. He's gonna lose the queen's healers as a result. Drops in the invisibility to protect the dragon riders from the air defense. The queen will step into it. The king is actually potentially gonna go into the multi-inferno in the middle of the base here. No, he's leaving. He's leaving. Got the little bit of cleanup on the far right side, picking up that storage over there as the Dragon Runners continue to push their way through. Looks like he's got enough to finish off the defense. We'll see if he has enough to finish off the time, but his queen is hanging on for dear life there. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have enough to get through this multi-inferno. Is the king going to have to go back for it? One Dragon Rider is at almost full HP. He's going to have enough for it, and that means that DC Ranger is up by two stars. And all they got to do is walk in a two-star. They stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Queen Walkers all the way through. The Queen Walkers were the first and only players to make a mistake here in this war. And they are on the ropes here as DC Ranger gets ready to close it out. If you do triples here, and then DC Ranger gets a one-star that matches Klaus's uh, level of mist air, then maybe... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys. The Queen Walkers aren't going to leave us empty-handed. Yuna coming in with a Queen Charge. Zap Mass Valkyrie attack to close out the war. <laughs> the chances for victory are very, very slim now. But Yuna going to be able to get it done here with Mass Valkyries and put on a show for us, even though it's looking like the Queen Walkers are going to lose their... They're going to make sure that we stay entertained here. We come back for more of the Queen Walkers and come back for what we know that they are capable of. But he will zap out the single Inferno. Wall break the Queen into the Scattershot here. It might actually push the Queen backwards to the Town Hall as well. She can actually run the loop here. He could go get the Scattershots. He's got... Okay, okay. He wall broke open the top side of the Town Hall apartment so the Queen can continue straight in, pick up the Town Hall, and get access to both Scattershots. We'll see what kind of pathing she chooses to take here, but if the Queen Charge goes independent of the Valkyries, which is a common way that people do this, then... Common way. <laughs> as, if, as if this is a common attack. 
he will get a little bit of a funnel to get the Valkyries to go into this big open compartment. Valkyries are better than than miners to move into a big open compartment like this. So he can do a lot of work here with this ward ability combined with the Valkyries. And if he raises it up on top of that, they can just surge their way through that whole compartment. But the queen was able to deal with the CC and she's keeping the scatter shots under control there. And the Valkyries will ultimately push the queen towards the other scatter shot and she will maintain the control of it all the way through the eagle artillery takes a strike there but misses the valkyries continue to charge their way through there's uh, a lot of them that have died out at this point here we keep on hearing their their screams as they fall on the backside. but they are given a nice layer of protection here for the world champion and for that king to work for quite a while he drops in the freeze to lock down the enemy roach or the enemy grand warden to make sure the warden doesn't end up taking out his uh his world champion and it, with the RC ability it looks like Yuna has got it done here with the mass Valkyrie zap <laughs> queen charge mass Valkyries gotta love it there but unfortunately with Klaus missing his they're still on the ropes here a beautiful attack here definitely stole the thumbnail right at the last minute and leaves us entertained here the queen walkers will get out of this war with 13 stars still a very very respectable performance but they definitely would have been hoping for at least a 14th there if uh class could have just went for the town hall oh all right dc ranger now with an opportunity to go perfect in this war here against the queen walkers coming in with a queen charge dragon rider attack if things go wrong and he ends up with a one star like Klaus did, then it could be in a world of hurt here. We've talked about this style base here in recent videos where a lot of people have started running this style base and a lot of people have been struggling with it. We have seen a lot. Oh, just like this. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh my God, can this one star? This queen charge going wrong right out of the gate. And he's got Dragon Riders. He does have a blimp. He can go pick up the Town Hall as a backup if necessary. But the healer is getting targeted by the air defense here while he continues to fight out the CC. And it's a Lava Hound on top of that. Pop and the Hound here. The healers continue to take damage. Oh no, this is going horribly, horribly wrong. DC Ranger was perfect all the way through. The Queen Walker still have a chance. Gonna lose every single healer there. Pop his queen ability to take out the enemy world champion. Now what? Now does he take any risk at all? You got what? He says to the dragon rise from the bottom. No, is he throwing right now? There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. He sends in the Dragon Riders from the bottom of the base, opposite of the Town Hall. They'll surge their way in with some headers, get the enemy queen down, get down the first multi. There's centralized air defenses on this base, which is going to really hammer away at these Dragon Riders here. But the percentage is very, very low right now. He drops in a baby dragon and a blimp up by the Town Hall. Does he get it? Okay, he will rage up the Town Hall drop and he will take the Town Hall. He's got to get the percentage down. He's still got his king. Guys, he will get the two-star here, and he will get the win, but it was a bit risky there. If something went wrong with that blimp there, if the blimp did not reach the town hall, it would have been over. He'll get out of it with exactly 51%, and then he exits out early. A little bit of a rage quit, but it is a rage win. And it looks like DC Ranger topples the Queen Walkers after Klaus fell short there. Man, if Klaus could have got the two star, if Klaus would have sent the Dragon Riders at just a slightly different angle or had that Dragon Rider that was getting hit by the Town Hall protected by the ward ability, he would have been able to two star and very likely would have been able to get the percentage of the last attack there potentially low enough to be able to actually take the win. <laughs> but 
that's a that's a scenario we'll never see unfortunately and the queen walkers will be taken down but yeah we definitely uh, got to give a shout out to yuda who was able to get in there with the mass valkyrie still in the thumbnail attack of the war here keep it exciting all the way through but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today guys thank you so much for coming out and joining make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more clash of clans esports and then join us back for the next one let me give you a tip when you uh, when you start to get older as you start to lose your hair you gotta like compensate by getting super buff and having a beard. That's like the only way that is acceptable. That's how like Bruce Willis and Vin Diesel and all of them did it. So just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Life tips from Eric.